All right, so in the next video, I'm going to talk about the difference in personality and design looking at line level. I just wanted to kind of um, wrap up on nodes. So the nodes being what you're drawn to, they can also be what you strive to become. I kind of think the healthiest expression of the nodes is when you accept that as the other person, the kind of person you're drawn to, and you don't have to be that. You don't have to be that thing. So I have third line nodes. You know, third line nodes are deeply connected to the Maya, but I don't have to be of the Maya. I can be in the Maya, I don't have to be of it. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Um, one thing Ra talked about, he himself had third line nodes on one side, I believe we have second and third line nodes. Anyway, um, he talked about essentially the third line being the, the material path, the path where you always have to make money and have money issues and you have to produce a lot in the Maya. Look how much Ra produced in the Maya, right? He was producing so much in the Maya. Well, I'm similar. I'm, I'm making a lot of Maya stuff, but I'm not a third line myself. You know, I'm not a third line Sun Earth. Ultimately, like Ra, I have a role that involves initiating new things from the fifth line, the call, trying to universalize them, hopefully succeeding in that. And then the first line, solid foundations. And the solid foundations need to be reactive because they need to react to the ever sh shifting knowledge. It's basically like eternally receptive knowledge. Like you see why the first line is reactive because it's here to be affected. Similar to how we saw the first color is quote unquote low resilience really just means highly affected. So being affected deeply by the outside world, that's one of the first line qualities, first color properties. And so just understanding that my nodes are not me, not really, they're how I interface with the world. They might even be how I fit in with my environment, but obviously we're not here to fit in. We're here to express our unique differentiated life purpose, which we do through the sun earths. And then once I've decoupled these things and understood them a bit better, I can no longer expect others to be less reactive or more reactive. I no longer have that Goldilocks syndrome of the not self of expecting others to be more or less of anything.